Hey guys, it's Jim. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you're doing well wherever you are. And uh, today I'm going to talk about Luminar. And what I'm specifically going to talk about is the seven things that I love about Luminar. Now, my list is actually a whole lot longer than seven. There's so many things I love about Luminar, but I'm not going to go into them all in individual detail. I'm going to go into them as sort of categories, if you will, big sort of broad brush strokes about what I think makes it the most powerful uh, and flexible photo editor on the market. So let's go. Okay, so uh, I've got this photo here, and I'm going to do a few things to it while I talk about the things that I love. But the first thing that I love about Luminar is, to me, it's a complete all-in-one photo editor. Now, um, you know, in the past, like if you've used other products, uh, you might think of them as plugins, and a lot of people probably use Luminar as a plugin. Totally cool, nothing wrong with that. However, it also operates as a standalone product, and what that means is it really does stand alone. And, and what I mean by that is you have everything you need. That's what I mean by a complete photo editor. You have filters, you have layers, you have all kinds of different things. You have noise reduction, you have cropping and straightening, so many things you can do, and you can do it all in Luminar. You don't have to use it as a plug-in to another product, uh, nor do you need to do some things in Luminar and then say, well, I can't do this here, so I gotta go over there and do it. You don't have to do that. I edited photos for years, bouncing from one app to the other because I couldn't get everything in one place, and now I can get everything in one place, and that's Luminar, so that's number one. Number two, uh, the second thing that I love about Luminar is layers. I mentioned that a minute ago, and you've got the layers panel over here. So that gives you unbridled flexibility to create whatever it is you want to create. So you can stick new pieces of a photo on top of it and brush it in. You can add a texture. You can add a new sky. You just go over here to layers, and you could add an adjustment layer. Let's say you did some adjustments on the base layer, and you want to add a new layer to do some color shifting or something. Great. Add a new layer for that. But you can also add a new image layer. You could come over here and say, you know, I really like this texture, and you could stick this texture on top. Uh, and then you just change your opacity, and you can create a textured look to your photo just like that. And that's the beauty, and I'm going to erase that, but that's the beauty and the power of having layers. You can quickly stick a new sky on it, or uh, a textured layer, or just additional creative edits on top of your base layer. And that's the second thing that I love about Luminar. The third thing that I love about Luminar is workspaces. Now, a workspace is a great idea that came out when Luminar first was launched, and that is it's where your filters are stored. So they're over here on the right-hand side. And a workspace is simply a collection of filters. Now, it's not a preset. A preset has adjustments made to all the sliders in those filters. Um, however, a workspace is just a collection of filters, all of the filters at zero. In other words, no adjustments. However, these different workspaces contain these filters, so you can quickly populate your workspace with filters that you might use on a particular type of photo. So then you can come in here and just say, well, I think I'll do this and do that and do this and do that or whatever, and then you, know, you can absolutely quickly make some adjustments to your photos. Now, the nice thing is there's a number of different uh, lands uh, it's not landscape a number of different uh, workspaces that come built in including like this landscape one and it's got these different filters built into it um, but the nice thing is, is you can go build your own and so I've done that a lot I've got different ones uh, workspaces that have built four different types of photos so let's say magic hour is something that I might would use where you know say I want to come in and adjust a photo that I took kind of in the magic hours, which for me are kind of like blue hour, sunset, golden hour, those kind of times of day. And you might just come in here and do some things, and I'm just kind of uh, winging it here. I don't have a particular plan for this photo, but there's a before and after, just a quick run through of this workspace, uh, magic hour, and it's just something that you can do. You can build your own collections of filters, make a workspace out of it, and then quickly get to them. So the next time you're editing a photo from, let's say, the magic hour, you just populate those filters and there they are without having to go to the filter list and get them all. If you ever want to clear it, just say clear workspace and you're back to where you started. Okay, the fourth thing that I love about Luminar is presets. Now, I mentioned presets already. Um, all you do is you just click on that button there and then you get into the preset categories. And there's a number of categories that come with Luminar. And of course, there's a whole lot of custom preset packs available. I have a number of them available for sale on my blog and I've got that uh, link down below if you wanna check it out. You can build your own. You can take advantage of the ones that are built into it. So I'm in the basic preset category. I can just click on image enhancer and it quickly updates my photo. There's the before, there's the after. 
there's two filters that are built into this one. Now, that's that. Now, I might go into some of my own uh, custom presets, and I might come over here and say, uh, this one, let's say this one looks good. Maybe I like that. Um, I really want to amp up that sunset, and so that was a quick application of a preset. There's the before, and there's the after, and that's what I like presets. They give you a great either one-click start and finish to a photo, or what I use them as is sort of a building block, sort of a starting place where I get the preset and say, okay, I really like most of that, but I want to do some changes. So for this one, maybe that's a little too saturated. Uh, maybe it's a little too orange. So I can come over here and take down the temperature a little bit to cool it off. Maybe I can take down the saturation a little bit just to reduce the intensity of that. Um, so there's a lot of things you can do, or you could just come here to the filters amount slider and that is on each layer you have that slider and it's basically an opacity slider. So if I go to zero, there's my base photo or I could go somewhere, you know, 100 or somewhere in between. I'm at 62 now and that's a pretty gentle application of that preset, but that's a great way to take advantage of the power of presets and that's one of the things I like about it. And because the presets are filters and they show up in your workspace, if you decide to change, you can just clear your workspace and start over or you could just grab a different preset and go click that and it'll apply on that layer on top of your existing preset and remove the previous edit. So it's quick, easy, flexible, and powerful. And that's something else I love about Luminar. Okay, the fifth thing I love about Luminar is filters. Uh, the filter menu, you just click on this blue button on the right hand side that says add filters and you can see it opens up this lengthy list and there are 50 filters. And so that's a lot. And the truth is you're probably not going to use all 50. I've, I've probably got a dozen, you know, maybe 15, maybe a stretch to 20 filters that I use on a fairly consistent basis. Uh, but you'll probably over time get to where you've, you're your list of filters that you use on just about every image becomes sort of common. The cool thing is you could say, well, God, I find myself using these five filters every time. Well, guess what? Make a workspace out of it. And that could be your starting, you know, base layer for your base edits, call it a base edit workspace. Then you could start a new layer and say color adjustments and make that a workspace, that sort of thing. But you have all these filters to choose from. You can come in there and do all sorts of things. And while some of these filters are my favorite. That's not what this video is about. This video is just about the pure raw power and capability of having 50 filters at your fingertips that you can quickly get to and use to go develop your photo and create the vision that you want to achieve with that shot. Okay, the sixth thing that I love about Luminar is all the masking options. So let's say you uh, get a preset and let's just click that and add that. Well, maybe you think that's um, a little too much and it probably is for this photo that's okay well you can do custom things you can do filter masking which allows you to take an individual filter and then brush it in or you have radial masking gradient masking and luminosity masking so you have a lot of different options uh, you can also do that on layers and so um, you have the ability to come in and make these adjustments either filter by filter which is called filter masking or to add a new layer stick edits on it and then mask those in accordingly so what i might would do is come in here let's uh, take a look at this one the image radiance is pretty heavy let me turn that off and you can see that the image radiance has been applied quite heavily um, you could come in here and just say you know i like the image radiance but i'm going to use a gradient mask it's too much on the bottom i don't like it there i like it on the top okay so take your gradient mask and just drop that uh, filter that's a filter mask done with a gradient and just stick that on the top and now if you go look at the mask I will click on that you can see that that filter is applied just where I stuck the gradient mask and so that's how that works it's a lot of flexibility but it's gradient masking it's radial masking and it's luminosity masking and it's also brush masking and you can do that on a layer or on a filter and so that's what filter masking is is just like I just did applying a mask for a specific filter by itself on that layer. Lots of flexibility, lots of great power and control. And I've got a video about masking. I'll stick a, a link in uh, whichever corner it is here and allow you to go take a look at that. But there's so much you can do. And that's what I, one of the other things I love about Luminar. Just so powerful, so many great masking options. Gives you uh, really unrivaled creative control over the outlook or the outcome of your photo. 
And the seventh thing that I love about Luminar is the tools menu. If you just click up here, you can see you've got crop, free transform, clone and stamp, and array. So if you haven't noticed yet, there's a couple of dust spots on my lens in this photo. So I can just click on the erase tool, and then I just come in here, and I'll go click on the spots that need to be erased. So here we go, I just click on that, and I think there's one over here. And once I have them selected, I just click done, and it will drop that as a new erase layer back into my editing panel on the side. So there you go, there's my erased image layer right here, and you can see that the erasing has taken place and that those dust spots are now gone. So that's one of the powerful tools. Another great one is crop. This photo is slightly crooked, so I can crop, but also I can straighten within crop. And so I can choose a crop ratio if I'd like to, and there's a lot of choices built in, but I might just wanna straighten this photo because it's crooked. So I'll just come over here, I'll do something like that, and once you have it the way you like it, you just say done, and it'll adjust and go back into the main editing window and your crop has been applied. And that's a quick tour of the seven things I love about Luminar. So much power, so much flexibility, so much creative control. I think it's the best product out there. I use it all the time. And uh, I hope you found this helpful. If you've got questions about Luminar, leave them below. I'll do my best to answer. Thanks for watching very much. Hit subscribe, like, share with your friends, that sort of thing. And I'll catch you next time, my friends. Take care, have a great day, and adios.